Let's now shift our focus to India. The day the country launched its historic Chandrayaan-3 mission remains etched in people's minds. Witnessing the launch of such a mission is truly an unparalleled experience. Hearing that one voice counting down from 10 to 1. The iconic voice of rocket launch countdowns, ISRO scientist N. Valarmathi has passed away after experiencing a cardiac arrest. You heard her voice when the Chandrayaan-3 mission was launched and during multiple launches earlier. Our next report paying a special tribute to the legend. Two, one, zero. You must have seen India's Chandrayaan-3 mission take off. You also heard the classic no, countdown. No, no, no. The person behind that voice was N. Valarmati. The ISRO scientist had passed away following a cardiac arrest. Social media has been flooded with condolences for the 64-year-old. Former ISRO director P. V. Venkata Krishnan wrote that, quote, the voice of Valamarthi Madam will not be there for the countdowns of future missions of ISRO from Sri Harikota. Chandrayaan 3 was her final countdown announcement, an unexpected demise. Feels so sad, pranams. Valamarthi was a member of the Range Operations Program Office, where she announced the countdown for launches. She graduated in engineering from the Government College of Technology in Coimbatore. The Chandrayaan-3 launch was Valamarthi's last countdown. The historic mission has made India the only country to reach the moon's south pole. And ISRO says that the Vikram lander is exceeding its mission objectives. The Vikram lander has achieved another soft landing on the moon by completing a hop experiment. During the experiment, the lander executed its engine firing command elevated itself by nearly 40 centimetres into the atmosphere and safely landed at a distance of 30 to 40 centimetres. Following the lateral jump, Vikram Lander redeployed its ramp and released its payloads, ILSA and CHASE. ISRO says that the remarkable achievement by the lander has set the stage for future missions, which will involve sample return and human exploration. You see, the HOP experiment is crucial in missions involving a lander which needs to return to Earth. Although it would take more thrust to lift off the lunar surface and launch towards Earth, the HOP experiment is a significant way to test the lander's capabilities. The landing made Indians supremely proud and the Vikram landers making exceptional jumps while on the moon. The lander has now entered the sleep mode and will fall asleep next to the Pragyan rover. Once sunlight appears again, the solar-powered instruments will resume their observations, along with achieving unbelievable feats. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.